Hey, what's up everybody? Mike here and today we're going to segue to a different storyboard. Um, a lot of apps will have like multiple storyboards and uh, that's it's pretty common because you want to separate. You don't want to have these massive storyboards and you also, it's good practice just to separate uh, things based on what they do. Like, you know, have like a storyboard that's like your home page and then have a storyboard that's like your settings page kind of thing. Um, so it's good, you know, it's easier to find things. You're not like moving around, panning around the storyboard page looking for your specific one. Um, so if you want to know how to segue, you came to the right place. Uh, and we're going to do it in three steps. We're going to add the storyboard reference, and then we're going to basically perform a segue as normal. If you've done segues in storyboard, you'll get this pretty easily. Uh, the storyboard reference is the big uh, player here. So... We're going to have you know, open up Xcode. We got the starter project that's in the description below. Uh, the link is there if you want to grab that. Uh, and we have an alternate view controller and a view controller. So this is going to take the text and put it in on a label. And this is going to send the text. And yeah, it's the text that's typed in this text field to be specific. Now, the first thing we need to do here is to add a storyboard reference. We're going to add that right here. And we're going to name first the storyboard. We're going to put in alternate, which is the name of the storyboard. Um, the referenced ID is going to be the storyboard ID of this view controller. So storyboard ID is going to be alternate VC. It will by default go into the uh, the initial view controller, which I've set this as the initial view controller, so you could just leave it blank. But just to be specific, and you know, you're not always going into the initial one. So let's, uh, yeah, we'll copy this storyboard ID. I like to copy and paste stuff that's not auto completed uh, for obvious reasons. You know, you get it wrong and it screws the app up, and you're trying to chase it down, and especially if it's a larger app. So we're going to reference the alternate VC. And there we go. That's the first step. And now we're basically just going to perform a segue as normal. If you do this a lot, you'll be familiar with this. So we're going to control drag here. We're going to drag it into the alternate VC and show you can put whichever one you want to. Doesn't really matter. And then for this, we're going to call it go to alternate storyboard. There we go. So we're going to need that identifier here in a second. And we're going to go into the view controller. And when the button is pressed that it's already linked up to, we're going to, oh, let's copy that. Copy the segue. I'm not, I'm not, I swear I'm not being lazy. It's, it's you know, you, you spell some wrong and you really screw it up. No. Um, and, and by the way, you could also do it if you wanted to control drag this button. You control drag it over here and do the same thing and when the button's pressed and then that way you don't have to put this code in here but um, yeah it's it just gets kind of confusing and you want to decouple things and that's that's kind of the point of having two different storyboards so I just want to you know kind of keep with that theme of, of you know keeping things decoupled and um, having a separate you're able to perform this segue anywhere in the view controller so you can do it on the return key, for instance, if you type something in the text field. Uh, so there we have that. And now we're going to prepare for the segue. And we're going to say if segue.identifier equals with two equal signs. And we're going to say go to alternate storyboard or whatever, you know, if you're doing this yourself, whatever you want. Uh, it's going to say let vc equals segue.destination as uh, the alternate view controller. Uh, let's let's make that a guard. Yeah. Hold on. Because we're conditionally casting it into alternate view controller. So, I mean, it, it never is going to fail, but like, just, you just want to avoid. Um, you know, doing doing things, you want to do things safely, right? Uh, so we want the VC dot segue text is going to equal our segue text field dot text. 
And you know what? That'll that'll basically do it. Let's let's build and run. Make sure this works. And we're gonna type, hey, segue. There we go. And you know the things are modally now, so it looks a little weird, but uh, yeah, it works. And uh, yeah, hope you guys found this useful. If you'd like to have it in blog format, you want to see how we're doing things. I just started blogging every video I make, so you can read it for people that want to read as well. That is also in the link in the description. Um, so if you want to uh, subscribe, I put out tutorials like this uh, pretty often. So, um, you know, check, check me out. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody.